My name is Mahesh Venkatraman. I am a technology manager at 1414 Degrees Limited. I lead the team of engineers and research and development department here, and we are together working on developing a clean and scalable thermal storage technology. Our energy ecosystem right now is going through a complete overhaul. We are moving from the traditional fossil powered generation to more renewables such as wind and solar. But the intermittent renewables means that you would require a lot of short and long term storage to smooth out those fluctuations. Batteries as they currently stand cannot provide the long term uh, energy storage whereas other technologies such as pumped hydro are geographically limited. Thermal storage technologies like ours can provide very high density energy storage solutions and they also have the flexibility that they can be installed at the point of generation or at the point of consumption. So they're practically geographically unlimited. The shift to 100% renewables is a very long drawn process and will require major infrastructure investment. 1414 degrees technology has the potential to facilitate the transition from where we are now to 100% renewables by using the current infrastructure which is required for power generation. However, it can also be used in the future with clean energy and process heat infrastructure. Thus, it can truly be the champion for our shift towards renewables. A thermal energy storage system converts the electricity from the grid or from any standard loan wind or solar electricity generation into heat and then recovers that heat in the form of electricity again. The system is comprised of two parts. One is the thermal energy store and the other one is the energy recovery system. 1414 Degrees' core expertise is in designing the thermal energy store part and then we use third party solutions for the energy recovery system. Inside the thermal energy store, we convert the electrical energy into heat and store it as the latent heat of our phase change material. To explain the latent heat, I'd like to give an example of um, water. When you boil a kettle of water, you have to provide it some sort of energy to convert it into steam. And if you can convert the steam back to water, you can recover that energy. That's the principle we use in our thermal energy storage system. We take a silicon based alloy, provide it energy to convert it into liquid form and that energy when required is recovered by just cooling it down to a solid form and then uh, energy recovery system is used to convert it back to electrical energy. Storing the heat in phase change materials has its own challenges. When the silicon based alloy is molten, you need a way to contain this liquid metal and that's where the interaction between the liquid metal and the containment material becomes quite important. To compound all this, the atmosphere in which this containment solution is stored is also a critical part because there can be adverse chemical reactions between the atmosphere, the containment material and the PCM itself. My team has been able to come up with several solutions to solve this interaction triangle and we've spent significant amount of time in trying to optimize the heat transfer from this storage box so that we can maximize the thermal performance of our system. Our system is very flexible in terms of the energy source. We can utilize grid electricity or standalone wind and solar electricity or it can even be coupled with waste heat at high temperatures or biogas based energy sources. Because this energy is stored as high temperature heat, it is very important for us to minimize the heat losses from our system to maximize the system performance. With our new design, we are confident that over 90% of the input energy can be delivered to the downstream energy recovery system as heat. This is quite comparable to the combustion based systems which are used in the conventional fossil powered generation systems. The energy recovery system which can be coupled with the thermal energy store is also very flexible. We can utilize a steam turbine based generation or a gas turbine based generation or a combined cycle. We can also couple with some of the upcoming uh, high efficiency technologies such as the supercritical CO2 
In the last 12 to 18 months, we worked very hard to solve all the integration challenges between these uh, thermal energy store and the energy recovery systems. And we are working towards delivering a reliable and robust solution for the grid and the industries. I believe in a future where everyone has access to uh, clean energy at all times. We have made huge technological leaps as far as the thermal energy storage technologies are concerned. And I'm proud of the fact that our team at 1414 Degrees has the capability to provide that transition towards a clean and reliable energy future.